Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to Nightcry. Now, Nightcry is an obscure horror game on Steam that I found from my buddy John Wolf. I saw he played the game, but he stopped and I was like, hey, this game looks weird, I wanna play it. So, this is supposed to be Remnants for the Scissor Man. I believe there was a Kickstarter for this game, I'm not entirely sure about that. But um, it's supposed to be like the Scissor Man from Clock Tower. And I'm really excited about that because I never played Clock Tower, but I always liked the figure of the Scissor Man and a guy just with big scissors walking like, I'm gonna cut you. I think you get what I'm saying. So I'm gonna click a new game, and if it's bad, I'm gonna refund it because it had quite bad reviews actually. And also, it has quite a few death scenes. Quite a few, like House of Velez. So if you enjoy that, that would. That is also something that I enjoy. <laughs> Wait, you have a, a loading between cutscenes? <laughs> okay. It seems you've had one too many drinks. Can I get you some water, ma'am? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just need some air. I see. Let me know if there's anything you need. <laughs> yeah, I will. I can clearly see he's not looking into her eyes. Anyway, uh, her name is Monica. In my language, it literally means breastfeeding. Now, with that out of the way, we can play the game. Click. Player character will walk towards clicked points. Double click to make the player run. Return to the title screen, pause, and skip event. I got it, thank you for the operating. Alright, I wanna hit on this guy who didn't look at my eyes before. How dare you, I'm gonna smack. It sure is hot in here. Could you take my jacket? It's yours now, take it. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, ma'am. My own jokes crack me up. I'm the only Here's guy your number tag. You'll need it to pick up your jacket. Right. <laughs> thanks. Uh <laughs> Thanks. I didn't I didn't mean to get it back, but uh thanks. I gave you gave it to you as a gift. You know. Anyway. I'm like the only guy who laughs from my own jokes. So I'm not surprised. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go over here, I think. What is that, an interaction point? Indeed. I'm not done here yet. Okay. What? You wanna pick up the jacket? You wanna get more information from the staff? What do you wanna do, Monica? By the way, have you seen Harry? Who? Oh, sorry. Harry is a friend of mine. He's tall, short hair. I didn't see him anywhere at the party. Uh, someone came and left down the hall a moment ago. Maybe it was him. Okay, thanks. It's through that door, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, just to establish something, is that the only door in the room? Yep, that's the only door. That's the only door in the room. Besides the one that I came from. So it's through that door, right? Yeah, I'm just making sure. I don't want to make any mistakes, okay? This is like the Ishimura. It seems small from the outside, but it's big on the inside. Have you ever played Dead Space? Ooh, that's a nasty scar. Oh, don't itch that! Do something about it, Monica! What? Go to him, talk to him! Ask him, is everything alright? Alright, in the eyes of a child, everything looks scary, okay? She, she probably saw... It's probably a mosquito bite. The cruiser is equipped with a fire extinguisher. Hopefully I won't need to use this. 
Yeah. But it makes me feel safe just seeing the fire extinguisher here. It's just like, oh, well, I'm prepared just in case there is a fire in this. All right. I think I actually need to get out of here. I like the way she's running. She... Like, Monica. Come on. <laughs> Monica, come on. Are you going for the best actor award? Come on, Monica, come on. Well, there is a man over there. Come on, Monica, go hit on one. I know you, you have a, a, a friend, Harry Potter or something, but come on, hit on this guy. Interaction complete. The pair are conversing rapidly in whispers. It's hard to make out what they are saying. It could be a foreign language. Okay. You're literally behind their back, but I guess they're whispering, so I cannot hear what they're saying. Uh, I guess they're whispering because you're here. I mean, you literally try to, you know, pass by them. And then you came back behind the guy's back. And if you think you didn't see that, then you're wrong. You're like the only person in the hallway. Anyway, so far I'm enjoying the game. So, guys, if you want to see more of Night Cry, let's shoot for somewhere around 200 likes. If we reach anywhere around that, I'll definitely continue playing more of this game. This game gets a lot more messy later on. Hello, young lady. Are you back from cocktail party? I guess uh, you didn't find your knight in shining armor, huh? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Are you on a vacation with your wife? No, I'm traveling alone. Let me introduce myself. I'm Virgo Burdsov, the owner of this ship. Wow, you own this ship? Yes, it always brings me joy to see passengers such as yourself having a great time on my ship. Oh, I guess I'm enjoying myself. Haha. <laughs> Don't be afraid to speak out if there's anything we can do to increase your comfort. <laughs> the menu on the table is various drinks and snacks. Maybe I'll order something later. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Uh, do you have any more thing to say? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have a letter, by the way. I'd like to bow my prosthetic eye to s sterilize it, but I have misplaced my lighter. Sorry, I don't have... One at hand. I don't smoke, so... Wait, there might be something at the bar counter. Ah, uh, and also, I think we're gonna crash. I thought I saw the captain at the cocktail party. He might had a, a little bit too much to drink, yes? <laughs> See, the captain get drunk would give me nightmares. Welcome, would you like something to drink? Sorry, I have... I've had enough for one night. Haha. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Let me know if you'd like some mineral water. What is that? What is that over there? Is that a... I'm gonna take this light bulb if nobody's gonna give me a lighter. You said there is something in the counter. <gasps> there is something in the counter. Hot towels and matches on a well-polished counter. Item found. Matches. The nightmare begins. Just... Just... You've never seen a prosthetic eye, you know? Not everybody... Wait, how do I... Matches? This guy... No, don't burn him! You can t use that here. Okay. I thought I'm gonna set him on fire. <laughs> if only there was something to light fire with. Oh, you can select items you find in the upper... What? The cursor will become the icon select item. So click on the objective to use them on it. Oh, the eye is literally on the... Sorry, my bad. I didn't see the eye was on the table. I'm just not used to people boiling their sterilized eyes in front of me. Oh, thank you, young lady. You saved me and my eye. But we're still gonna crash. I I'm sure I saw the captain taking a few shots. He's actually quite the jagger. Anyway, I'm out of here. I, I said I'm out of here. How am I back here? All right, let's flirt with this man. Oh, that's actually a menu. My bad, I thought that was a man. Uh, I always mistaken people for menus. That's why I always read them. There is stairs up there. Should I try and attempt and... I should, shouldn't I? Go, Monica! <laughs> Monica, go! This is how Monica runs into battle, guys. When you see that running towards you, you know you're screwed. You know you're one... Oh, stairs are blocked. Okay. What's over here? Oh, another another hallway. Let's interact with that. A sign for the cafe is on display. The name of the cafe must be French. No clue what it means. I was about to make a racist joke where I laugh 
very hard with a French accent while brushing my mustache, but I realize how racist it is. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna do a small version of it. <laughs> now imagine that version and intensify it. <laughs> okay. Um, back to uh, video game. Is this my house? Yep. Yeah. Interaction point. Have you are... Uh, here you are. No wonder I didn't see you at the party. Jessica got tired of the party, so I came along with her. I don't get why the best looking guy here is like obsessed with Rooney. What a joke. Uh, you mean the conductor, Jerome? Yeah, I think that was his name. I'm not into slim guys, so... I'm, I'm not sure. Is that is that the guy that I'm looking for? Or... Monica, wasn't there something I was supposed to do on this floor? Are you? Am I supposed to do you on this floor? Harry was looking for you, by the way. You should totally date Harry, Monica. Are you serious? I don't date guys with no future. But he wanted to talk to you with something. You should go look for him on the lower floor. I'll consider it. Just before he spasm. Uh, just before he spasm and she spasm out like crazy. So she finished considering it. Hey, you you gonna leave? You're also going to the basement? Okay. How are you, by the way, noodle hair lady? Aw, she's dreaming about eating noodles. <laughs> she's dreaming about eating noodles. Dreaming about eating noodles, dude. I'm laughing at my own jokes. I can't. <laughs> Alright. So, Harry is in the basement, right? I like how I had no reason to go on it, but I had to talk from Kelly to get a validation to go downstairs. Not to not approve. She's not my mother, but just to be vet. What are you, some kind of a model? Stop walking! Just, just walking while I'm talking. Alright, go investigate there, Monica. So I was saying, uh, she needed validation from Kelly. Like, Kelly, look what the, what I'm doing. I'm chasing a man. I need you to validate me. Anyway, stop walking like a stupid model and go. Huh. I'll stop because I think I might hear a cutscene. My hair, just before I spasm. Wow, child. Oh, she's coming right for me. Okay. Sorry, I just have a fear from children. I once saw this guy, which was a child. He ended up being a great fighter in the UFC. He created a, a strategy called the, the Rhino, where he just puts his hand like this and runs towards the opponent. Just... Slams into the opponent with both hands like this. Honestly, if you run towards somebody full speed with hands like this, there's nothing you can do. It's called the Reino. Copyrighted by me. Hello there, Harry. Uh, hey there, babe. I see you left the party too, huh? Yeah, did you, need, did you see a little girl come by this way? Hmm? It was just until you came, babe. Oh... Anyway, how's the party? You said you found a guy li you like? I thought I did. He was alright, but not my type. In the end, I had to let him go. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Also, I ate a frog, so I can't speak properly. <laughs> seemed to me like he has more into... Uh, similar, seemed to me like he was more into Rooney anyway. Well, each, uh, well, each to their own, right? Personally, she bores the hell out of me. What? Why were you watching me and acting like you didn't know? You're disgusting. 
Come on, babe. I was cheering you on from the sidelines. I didn't expect plain Jane to hand your ass to you. <laughs> Go to hell. She could have chosen a better night to stand out for once. Dickbag? Smart ass? A bag of dicks that you're in it. There is a bag of dicks and you're in it. Showed him. Get out of here, Monica. You showed him. Wait, Monica, what? Monica. What's our next objective? I think we gotta go back. Well, this is a little embarrassing, Harry. I know I just dissed you, but... <laughs> Do you have an objective for me by any chance? Hold up, maybe the chairs have. Dude, I'll take an objective from a chair. Just somebody give me an objective already. I would- I would- Dude, I need an objective so bad. Come on. <gasps> Interaction point! A venting machine for the soft drinks. I'm thirsty, but I left my purse in my room. Oh, Harry! I'm thirsty and I left my- everything in the room. Loading cutscene for a, a soft drink? Okay. Listen, I'm not a game developer. I'm not gonna- If you wanna stick your loading screen in a conversation, you do that. You make yourself happy. Don't get yourself worked up now. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. <laughs> what? You think a soda will get you on my good side? Hey, you're thirsty, right? Here we go. What the? What is it now? Well, uh, something's grabbing my hand. What? I said something inside here grabbing my hand. It's the babushka. Oh, Harry, the Gregory Peck Act is a bit outdated, don't you think? I'm serious. Santa Claus! No, why are you running away? That's... Okay, stamina. The game keeps track of the player's stamina. When the player's stamina runs out, they will go... They will no longer be able to move. Running for a long time or re resisting the attack of the scissor man will reduce the player's stamina and the screen will flash red. Stamina will recover while walking or standing. Hold your breath while hiding. Recover from uh, falling over. Uh, select icon, activate click point. Click while running to dash. Uh, greatly reduces stamina. Oh no. Center camera on the scissor man. Okay. Oh gosh. So, like, am I supposed to go somewhere? Oh gosh, he's after me, guys. I thought, I thought the transaction completed. Well, I think I gotta make it to the... Oh gosh, he's right behind me, isn't he? I think I gotta make it to some sort of a... Elevator, perhaps? Oh! Over here! Interaction point! Get in there! Alright, we gotta hide! Like now! Lady! Under the bed, now! Okay, how do I stop my breath again? Left click? Well, it's fine. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Get fingered! Put that away! You might get somebody's eyes out! Alright. Is that a, cl a closet? I, I might fit in that. Shut 50% of your mouth for a second. Not 100%, you're gonna die. Am I blocking my breath?
<laughs> Get out, play dummy. Get out of here now. Go cry to your scissor mom. And remember, don't run with scissors! <sighs> Rock, paper, scissors. Great achievement. Makes me laugh every time that I see it. Was this... Uh, what is that? The suitcase is locked and I will not... And it will not budge. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't rob my neighbors. You know? Don't want to be arrested now. There is a phone charger on the table. Okay. No, what is that? It's the same phone charger. Charger. Look at that drawer, okay? The only things in the drawer are arm amenities provided provided for Okay, what about this picture? The name John Thompson is inscribed beneath the photo of Happy Couple. Oh. Ray William Johnson legally changed his name. He couldn't bear it anymore. I'm out of here. So, a video game save. How does that function? Huh? Do I click? Return to the title screen. No! Ah, I can't focus on the scissor man anymore, so I guess he's gone. Now, what do I do now? There is a guy running with scissors, and I don't know how I feel about that, because my mother taught me not to run with scissors. Okay, Monica, you run until you tackle the wall. Now let's go back to the crime scene. Where the crime committed place. Oh. This is not the crime scene. This is a... A, a washroom, isn't it? Yeah. Well, not very intriguing. I'm out of here. What if I go back here? Wait, is that another apartment? I'll need some of kind of light source. I mean, I was back at a... Okay. So this is the house, right? So maybe I should look around here for some kind of a light source. Harry, are you alright? What does it say? Transaction complete. Well, <laughs> how could this happen? I don't know, but the transaction was complete, so are you gonna get your drink? As if I'm going to use this vending machine again. You have high standards for a Monica. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I'm gonna leave the, uh, this area, actually. Uh, where did I come from, though? Did Was the elevator over here? I did use an elevator, right, Monica? Oh, there is the elevator. I'm out of here, then. Huh. His smartphone is poking out of his pocket. Maybe he was trying to call for help. Can I take it? Ah, slimy. It won't turn on. It seems to be out of battery. You found an item. Smartphone battery dead. It died alongside with Harry because it was scared. Phone batteries or phones don't have strong hearts. So when they get jump scared, you bet your Monica that it's gonna die. Do they have a phone charger? That's my question. They don't. What do they have? Oh, there's a phone charger. Okay. Cool. I guess I can break into anybody's house and do that. Of course, if I can charge the phone... I can use the phone. Why didn't I think about that? Battery fully charged? Steve Jobs, is that you? What is this technology? Thank goodness, now I can use this phone. And he died. The name John Thompson is displayed on the startup screen. Okay. Do I need to get his uh, fingerprint? You found an item, smartphone. You can click on the smartphone icon to use it. You can save your game when you need to buy you need it by charging the smartphone smartphone light. In the dark places you will need to shine your light in order to find a clicking point. Okay, so let's try the charging uh, the saving feature. Do I actually have to take my phone? Do I actually have to do this? How do I know for sure if it saved the game? Like save complete okay. There you go, a confirmation. That's all I wanted. So I found this place. Some kind of an elevator. I'm gonna look at this for a second. What if the fuse is broken? Maybe I can get the elevator moving by replacing this fuse. Okay. A card key reader for the elevator. The lights are off. Look like we're out of power. Okay. 
So there was a room that needed light before. So now that we have a phone, I assume we can get some light. Oh, what is this blood? Oh, I don't like this one bit. This there probably a guy here that needed a card that has a card, not needed a card. He's dead probably. Just checking to see if there is any interaction. I can interact with the cashier or the cash register has been left open. Time to take my money. Communism. It look <laughs> look at that there is only a few quarters in the register. Cool. Any day now will be a good day. I'll take that. You found an item, four quarters. Cool, I'm a thief. Uh, what? I interacted with something. Over there, Monica. Monica! There is an interaction over there. Don't make me mad. Come on, go steal it. There is no one left behind the counter. I guess I'm gonna steal that too. Some snacks on display. They have my favorite pretzels. Okay. Seems like you were having a moment there with the pretzels. What is that, a shampoo? <gasps> my favorite shampoo brand. At least I won't starve to death. Wait, what? Okay. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's how she got so slim. I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten uh, you. Uh, Are you all right? You look very pale. Are, are you alive? What? For a few quarters, I'll be alive. Oh, god damn. Get out of the way, man! Don't get out of the way! Right in the jewels! Ah. A rabbi would not approve this. That is not how we Jews do it. Hey, I wonder if this is a card reader from the staff. There's a card key in serving card. It must have fallen from the crew's member pocket. Thank you, scissor man. <laughs> Mr. Scissor man. The dishes that were on the starving scattered all over the floor. Okay. Uh, I declare you now... Your, your dick is now... Better. I don't know how rabbis do it, okay? They're supposed to do it when you're a baby. You're not supposed to do it when you're a grown man with a shopping cart. Doesn't work like that. Save complete. Guys, on the top right corner of the screen there is a card info. Click on it and it'll take you to the next part of Nightcry when it's available. Guys, I would love to play more of this game for you. I'm having a lot of fun playing through this game. And again, if you want to see more of this game, let's shoot for around 200 likes. And me and Monica will see you in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye bye